Alright, so we're going to do a little video on how to chain up an 18 wheeler. Just in case anybody wants to know. I got a, I got a chain laid out on the ground like that. You got these little connections right here. You got to make sure that it's going to be on one end. It's smooth and on the other end it's got a little notch on it. I don't know if you can see that. When you lay the chains over the tires, you want to make sure that notch is pointed away from the tire so it doesn't cut into the tires. These right here are your locks. Make sure you, you twist them and it tightens it up after you get it on the chain. There's four of them. After you get it wrapped around the tire and that, that locks it up, you want to make sure those are on the outside. This right here is your little tightener for the locks. If you don't have that, you're screwed. You might as well not waste your time chaining up. Um, the chain's going to be worthless without that little key. Some drivers, there's several different ways of chaining. Some drivers lay it out on the ground like this and back over it. And then reach up and wrap it around the tire. I don't do that because if you have six inches of snow on the ground, then uh, it's hard to see where you laid it out because it's underneath that. Some drivers take a 2x4 or a 4x4 four four, and they put it underneath the inside drive tire and then you back over it and that lifts your outside drive tire up off the ground 2 or 4 inches and then you could just pick up the, the chain and wrap it around the tire. That only works 50% of the time because the ground gets wet and snow packed and icy and the tires are wet and slippery and the 2x4 gets wet and slippery and so you spend most of your time spinning your tires trying to get on the 2x4 than you do chaining so I'm, I'm going to show you a different way okay so we're going to pick up the chain we're going to hook it, wrap it over the top of the tire Make sure it's not twisted and then you turn flat. This part is easier after after the tires are wet and slippery. so that it touches the ground on one side and you got a big pile on the other side you want to pile it up on each side of the tire like that come in a little bit closer you want to make sure all your locks are on the outside and all the teeth are on the outside so they don't cut into the tire I'm going to move the truck forward a little bit Like that. Now you've got the chain all the way around your tire, even underneath it. And you just pull it up. If you can get it in there, you find your tight link and you hook it. 